this is Chill Computer Guy. We're here in Bitwig Studio. Today we're going to talk about the sampler, more specifically the multi-sampler. It is a rather misunderstood device in Bitwig Studio. A little uh, confusing to me when I first approached it. Let's go ahead and go in. We have, uh, I'm going to go instruments, Bitwig instruments. I'm going to go with the sampler. And then there's the sampler down there. Now, it says click to browse for samples slash multi samples. Now you click here and you think, okay, multi samples. There's your multi sample. But these are actually multi samples that, yeah, you can get into an edit, but how do you create your own multi sample? And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. Let's go ahead and cancel out to the out. And then here we are back at our sampler. What you need to do is you need to right click and hit create new multi sample. Now when you do that, you'll see your keyboard there. And now you wanna hit edit multi sample. Now this is gonna open up a whole new screen. You may not have ever even seen this screen. And it's something that I consider kind of still a little under construction as far as Bitwig goes, as far as the multi sample, but it's very, very powerful. We're gonna go ahead and open up the side browser. You wanna use the side browser works best for this because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be dragging and dropping samples in here. Now we have um, just some random, uh, I'm gonna use these these uh, these random vocal loops. I suppose we should have. We can't go on. I don't need. I've had enough of you. Just because uh, they're kind of fun and they will also display very nicely the loop option. Now what you want to do is you want to uh, click one, go all the way to the bottom, hold shift, basically select all, and you want to drag them over here. You can see they're going to occupy the keys. Now the further down you go as far as your cursor is concerned, the more keys each sample is going to cover. And if you put your cursor up, they become more narrow until finally each sample is assigned to a separate key. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that there. Now what has happened is it has given you the sample, uh, tons of options. We're gonna drag this right on to the C1 right here. Tell me yourself, go on. <laughs> you wanted me. Oh, what's, going on? what's wrong? Something, Yo, you know that's impossible. We can't. It's quite... Claudia, that man's desperately ill. We've got to get a doctor. And now, ladies and gentlemen... We can't go on. And so you can see each sample is assigned to a separate key. Now, you'll see this little uh, double arrow with a square. And this goes up and it goes over. So you can drag these samples out. And so you can, you can lasso all these and hit delete. And then drag them back in. And make them wider. Make them narrow. And again, drag these out. I'm gonna have one so it's on each key. We're gonna start at C1 there. And, now, and, now, and you can see now that that, we can click on that and it will select just that sample. We have the option to reverse it. We also have the option to uh, loop it. And you'll see these blue handles down here. You can drag those in. Ladies and gentlemen, we can also uh, assign where we start and end here with this here, where the sample ends. We can also pitch the sample. And now, and now, and now, and now. Some of these and turn. Now, uh... ladies and, and now, ladies and now, ladies and gentlemen. And now, ladies and gentlemen. So you can get some fine tuning in there. You can also now, assign what gentlemen. triggers, what what note is going to trigger. Now the velocity layering is another interesting thing. You can actually highlight all these and drag them down or up rather to create velocity layers. So now we can put those samples there. We can go into another folder. Grab some more samples, drag them over here, same thing, drag them up, just put them right on top of those samples because what we're going to do is we're going to actually put those velocity layers down and then what will happen is if we hit the key hard, if we hit it soft we trigger the lower sample, if we hit it hard, 
And when it comes to your MIDI grid, you can really con you can you know control your vo velocity and actually get all kinds of layering in here. You can drag these up and then of course put a uh, let's say another set of samples. Whoa, look at all those tons of samples there. Again, hit Shift, drag them all over, and then just put them put them right on top. Because what you're going to do is you're going to drag them down anyway. So while they're all selected, drag those down, and now you have three velocity layers. So if I hit it really soft, you can get that bottom sample a little bit harder. Now why these things stay that color, I can't really figure that out. If anybody knows, please leave in the comment. I don't know why they stay that. I don't know why that is. I know when you hit the note, it turns green. And when it's selected, it turns, you know, the, 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 uh, the orange. But as far as it staying that color, I, I uh, oh, maybe those are samples that have been altered in some way. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it's, uh, no, key track. No, I don't know what that, what causes that. You got to make a beat. You got to You got to make a beat. You got to You got to see. You got to I got a beat. When I do a thing, I like to do it right. I like to do it right. Okay, so let's go get, now once you do this, you can save this. You can save it to your library as a multi-sample. Or what you can do is you can actually hit this X here, close out of here, and now you have your multi-sample built. You can go in here, key method you want to, and no. create all kinds no. of crazy stuff in no. here. No. 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 Just some quickly, kind of like, it reminds me of like Rex loops a little bit in Reason, you know, the Rex loops and how you, you do that stuff. You know, you can just kind of put some random shit in here and just go crazy with it, you know. Whoops. So let's go ahead and play that. What's made him act? What's you know that? 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 Now again, once you're here, you can go into Edit Multi Sample, and it's going to bring that screen right back up where you can, of course, uh, hit replace. Your normal browser is going to pop up, and then you can just put whatever multi-sample in there. There you go. But if you ever want to edit that multi-sample, you can hit edit multi-sample, and now you're actually in there. You can see kind of what's going on. Velocity, layering, you can loop everything if you want. Yeah, why not loop everything? That'll be fun. Again, that's the multi-sampler. Chill computer guy. Please subscribe. We're going to have more videos for you. We'll see you guys next week.